Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I am here to share with you 40, yes, I said 40, this is a big one, bread and butter bolos, items I bought low and sold for decent profits. I will say that all of the small sales add up to big profits, and these items sold for $35 or less on eBay, and I did have these items cross-posted, most of them, and they sold faster on eBay. So I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And if you're interested in learning about cross-posting and how to get your items on multiple platforms, I do use a listing um, cross-posting extension called List Perfectly. I do have a video of how it works down in the description of the video. What I do is I list my items to eBay and then I cross post them over to the other platforms. So um, check that out. If you have questions, you can put them in the comments of the video. Again, there's a link down below. If you watch it and you decide it's something you're interested in trying, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. All right, you guys, are you ready to see 40 bread and butter bolos? Easier to find items that I've picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, YouTube auctions, Facebook Marketplace, you name it. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first item I sold is this honeycomb pumpkin. So this is really simple. You see these a lot. Um, I will pick them up if they are vintage, and I know to expect them to be a bread and butter bolo. Sometimes some of them can go for a little more. I just listed some bells, and I had multiples, so I'm going to see how that goes. But I got these out of this one out of a mystery box and I sold it for $11.24 plus shipping. And I always try to include the information on the bottom of the bag in case somebody is looking for something specific. All right, you guys. So I picked up these elephants at a thrift store for $2.50. I did not realize until I got home that they were missing their tusk. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, I'm actually surprised that these even sold. I priced them kind of high, just hoping maybe they were something rare or hard to find or something someone had been looking for. At $65, they were on sale for $48. Somebody offered me $20 bucks and I could not accept that offer fast enough. So that's the thing. Like Sometimes I price a little high and I will come down on the prices. This one I was kind of feeling out, so I priced it high, but, you know, it sat for a little while. I kind of forgot about it, and when the $20 offer came in, I accepted. Uh, the buyer was all in for $35.51. The next item, I love this item. It's a cookbook. I picked it up at a garage sale. The German village is about an hour from me, and I was familiar with that area because it was kind of where I went to college. So um, when I saw this, it was from 1968, a first edition cookbook, and it had this really cool graphic on the front. And I was like, this will sell. Paid a dollar for it at a garage sale, sold it for a best offer of $24, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this little putts cardboard house. Um, I do pick these up. Some of them go for more than others. Some of them go for huge money. Go on eBay and search putts house and check it out. Search highest to lowest. This one was not in great condition. I'm guessing somebody's buying it to fix it up. Um, sometimes people will also buy them just for the window. So let's say they have the same size window and they just need a replacement window. A lot of times those get completely removed or cracked. Um, I've had people specifically ask me, is the window or the door intact? Is it messed up? You know, they just want that piece which I would say it'd be hard to like peel off. But anyway, I sold this for $12. The buyer was all in for $18.85. I got that at thrift store for 50 cents. The next item I picked up at a garage sale for $1.50. Um, I wasn't sure about this one. Um, I did a little sold search uh, quickly at the store, at the store, at the garage sale and decided it was worth picking up for $1.50. I ended up taking a best offer of $15 and the buyer was all in for $21.26. So Jenny Krauss, it's an embroidered uh, like wool pouch, like little wristlet type thing. I am not familiar with Jenny Krauss. I don't know if it's like a um, MLM or if it's just 
I don't know. Does anybody know what Jenny Krause is? Let me know in the comments if you do. Okay, so the Digimon. I sold this for $29.99 on auction. I don't know. If you guys go to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, I did a, a video called something about a mistake. I made a huge mistake or I made this mistake cost me money or something like that. Go check out that video. This is one of the items that was a part of that lot. And I decided to pull one item just so I knew that I was going to like cover my cost of what I paid for everything. And this was the item I picked. And then the other items I lotted up and I had this big plan. Well, it kind of womp womp. So if you go check out that I made a mistake video on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, you'll see what I'm talking about. But this one item sold for $29.99 plus shipping. It is a Nintendo DS cartridge and case, no manual. The next item I sold is this Squishmallow. You guys, it looks big in the picture, but it is only five inches tall. His name is Humphrey the Hamster. He's from 2019. He is retired. He is cute stuff. Um, I paid 50 cents for him at a garage sale and I took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this broken. Yes, I sell broken things. A lot of times they're bread and butter, but somebody needed this. And I don't know if they're going to take the wheels off the back. I don't know if they needed the handlebars, but somebody needed it. It's from 1967. It's a little Kittles trike diddle. And I could have easily just donated this or thrown it in the trash. And I was like, nope, I'm going to list it. It did take a while to sell. Somebody offered me five bucks. So I went ahead and took that. The buyer was all in for $10.54. The next item came from my vintage sticker lot haul. If you guys missed it, go over to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. It's called Vintage Stickers or something like that. Oh my goodness. I scored $3. I paid for all of it. One sticker sheet sold for $49.99. Now, I've only sold two sticker sets, full transparency. Like, I think those items are going to take a while to sell. But um, the first one sold for $50. This one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. So I've already made, what, $65 bucks minus my fees. And my investment was $3. And I have a ton of sticker sheets listed. So go check out that vis video. I think you'll be like amazed. So, and these are like uh, the puffy stickers. So they kind of uh, stick up and they're kind of plushy a little bit. Like they've got something in them that make them kind of soft and raised. I don't know. They're called puffy stickers. The next item I sold is this vintage loving fam family Exer saucer. And you guys can see the top is completely discolored. Um, I got great feedback on this and I almost didn't list it because of the fading, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to list it. And I sold it for $8. The buyer was all in for $13.41. So just a bread and butter item. The next item I sold is this vintage blue jeans patch. It is a lobster. It's an iron on new old stock. I have Two left if anybody needs a lobster patch for something. Here he is. He is a happy guy. And I got this. I don't remember where I got this, if I'm being honest. Is that actually like a... That's weird. I never looked at the back. It's a postcard. Well, that's weird. I didn't even know that. I should definitely be putting postcard in the title. I mean, how many people have seen a postcard that looks like that? Huh. That's interesting. Gift mailer, see back. That's really cool. So I could have just mailed it like that. <laughs> what do you guys think? All right, I ended up, did I tell you what I paid? I don't remember what I paid, but I got quite a few of them. And I sold it for $10.49 plus shipping. The next item is this Incredibles 2 Baby Jack-Jack. If you want to see how it works, go over to my reseller testing products. I do have a video. You can check that out. And he lights up and has sound. He is wild. His head like turns red and flashes. He's crazy. Um, I got this at a thrift store. I already knew that it was a bolo because I recently sold one. And somebody in my Facebook group said that a lot of times they stop working. So far, I'm two for two for working um, with no problems. So definitely check them. 
I don't know what the value is on one that doesn't work, but I sold this one for $26.25 plus shipping. The next item is this Play School Heroes Transformer. This is Cade Burns. He's a rescue bot and he goes to the garage set. This one is the Transformer Rescue Bots Doc Green. Um, he's the inventor. Somebody bought both of these. They lotted them up for $23.25 and the buyer paid shipping. I do have combined shipping of $5 on most of my closing, clothing and most of my first class items. So if you add items to your cart um, at the buy it now price, discounts will be reflected and you will also get that shipping discount if it applies. The next item is this vintage planky baby rattle. It's rare, hard to find. I picked this up at a garage sale for 75 cents. And I sold it for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. The next item I got out of a mystery box and it is a holiday memories Christmas scrapbooking kit. It's got 20 pages and I sold this for $18.74. The buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Zorbit's Carmology bracelet. And this came in a dibble box that I got from Donatella Bottolino for auction. And I believe I bought a box and it had like a bag of jewelry in it. I think that's where this one came from. I have unboxings of all of the stuff that I've purchased from her. So if you type dibble into both of my channels, you will find it there. But this is just a little like it says empowerment and wisdom. I guess if you wear it, you're supposed to feel empowered and have more wisdom. I don't know. Sounds like a good deal, right? Um, not sure how those things work. I think it's based on the stone or something. But anyway, I sold it for $9. The buyer was all in for $13.94. The next item is this PJ Masks Transformation Playset figure from, um, it's Connor Becomes Catboy. It's a replacement figure. So this is before he transforms into like the little superhero, I guess you would call it. I, I don't know, Catboy. Um, sold this for $14. The buyer was all in for $19.24. Got it at a garage sale for $0.25. Cents. The next item is this lot of embroidery floss. I picked it up at a garage sale for a buck. I sold this for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. The next item is this Promise Puppy Plush. And I have a Thrift With Me video, not Thrift With Me, a Garage Sale With Me video where I found this. Definitely a little bolo. I probably could have held out for full asking price because I couldn't find anything like it. I was trying to figure out if it was just a stuffed animal that somebody had put like a patch on. But then I read it says promise puppy. So I was like, it seems original. So I don't know, you guys, but super, super cool. It's got the Bible scripture right there on the front of his belly. Um, just precious and very, very cool find, in my opinion. Picked it up for a dollar and I took a best offer of $35 plus shipping. The next item are these Connects Screaming Serpent Coaster Parts. I went to the Goodwill and I picked up a big tote of the Screaming Serpent. I have parted one of these out before. I knew that it was going to be a lot of work, but I also know that these parts sell pretty well. Um, this sold very quickly for $11.25 plus shipping. When I first saw the set, I was hoping it was going to be complete without the box. Um, but uh, the roller coaster was there. I saw that. So I knew that was an easy 20, 25 bucks just for the roller coaster. But the people were missing, unfortunately. Um, I think I paid six or seven bucks for the whole tote and I parted it out. Again, it took a long time. I feel like I start those projects and I just have to finish them. So I think I've sold two or three sets of stuff already. So it'll pay off. It was just took me a long time to sort it. The next is this ABC yoga cards. Um, I sold these for $15 best offer. The buyer was all in for $23.18. And these came out of a mystery box. And I do think I have a video of the other connects that I parted out. And it was also um, a Ninja Turtle playset. I think I shared those in the same video. If you guys want to check that out, it's on this channel. And it is way back. And I don't remember what the title was. Okay, so this is Team Umizoomi. And this is the toy figure bot. He's like this robot. And um, 
these are definitely a bolo item. The team Umizumi characters are hard to find. I've done really well with them in the past. They also have cars. One's a remote control. So definitely be on the lookout if you see this guy. I got this one for 25 cents. I sold him for $13.50 plus shipping. The next item is this charming Charlie bib necklace. I got this out of the bulk buy. 344 pounds of jewelry. I sourced it on eBay to sell on eBay. Took a best offer of $9 and sold this for $14.53 with tax and shipping. All right, this came from a garage sale. I think I had about 50 cents in it. Um, I bought some other stuff. I can't remember exactly. Now, this is not your standard little three inch, two inch, three inch Indian cowboy figure. This guy is five inches. He's big. Um, he looks like the little ones, but he's five inches. See here. And I wasn't sure if he was going to be like a big money thing or not. He ended up being bread and butter, which is fine. I sold him for $9 and the buyer was all in for $15.10. The next item I sold is this vintage Ohio State Buckeyes hat, uh, hat tie. Oh my goodness. It's not a hat, you guys. It's a tie. And I took a best offer of $12 on this. The buyer was all in for $17.83. And if I remember correctly, I picked that up at a garage sale for like a buck. The next item I sold are these Henry and Mudge children books. Um, you guys, I am guilty of picking up books all the time, and I'm really bad about getting them listed. And I should because they typically sell pretty quickly. Um, I also put a lot of books over on Mercari. So uh, this set sold for $15. The buyer was all in for $19.72. And I, if I, I think I got these at a thrift store. The next item is this vintage, nope, I'm sorry, it's retired, <coughs> and it's incomplete. So this is really just for parts, and it's the Lego Duplo Car Wash. If I remember correctly, this went internationally. I sold it for a best offer of $27 plus shipping, and I got it at a thrift store for $1. The next item is this Tupper Toys Noah's Ark Replacement Ladder. So I have sold the Tupper Toys Noah's Ark. So I knew that this was the ladder that went with it. And I sold this for $9. The buyer was all in for $14.34. And I have about 10 cents in this. The next item I sold are these Betty Spaghetti Hangout dolls. I had no idea what they were. I picked them up for the garage sale for like a buck. Uh, they're buildable toys. So they literally come apart. Let me see here. There you go. That is what they look like apart. That is what they look like together. So I don't know, $29.99 is what I sold it for. Buyer paid shipping. I've not seen these before. I did sell a dog once. I remember I used Google Lens and it was said Betty Spaghetti. And I'm like, what is Betty Spaghetti? But it sold pretty quickly. So um, yeah, this one sold quick. Uh, the Spin Master Monster Jam Dirt Squad Tractor. So I decided to list this one separately because I've never seen any that are shaped like um, like a tractor. So uh, I went ahead and listed it separately and I got it in a mystery box and I sold it for $10.50 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this Don Arden's uh, Las Vegas program. And I was actually coming home and I saw that I think they were moving or just moving in and there was a box of stuff outside their house that they had sitting by the trash ready to go. And this is one of the items that I dug out of it. So it's an old, it's like a showgirl um, program for an event. So pretty cool, right? Sold it for $14.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So my cost of goods was free. The next item, I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents. I paid, um, I'm sorry, I paid 50 cents and I sold it for a best offer of 14. The buyer was all in for 2012. Now, I knew that these were not going to be like a big money bolo, but I felt like given that they were holiday themed, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, Easter, and the American flag, that these were going to sell to somebody who was looking for those types of items. And they sold pretty quickly. This next item is Chunk, the Disney Pixar Toy Story 3 mini action figure. You guys, this guy is small. See, he fits right there in my hand. Let me see. There he is. He's, what, less than three inches? 
And I ended up selling him for a best offer of $15. The buyer was all in for $20.63. And I got him at a garage sale for $0.25. Cents. The next item is this vintage lot of toys. The brand is Gay Toys. Um, they're plastic vehicles made in the USA. They're they're old. Um, let me see if I can... Right there. I thought I had a close-up. Can you guys see it? There we go. Walled Lake, Michigan. So there's all the information on the back. I had never heard of this brand, but I thought they were cool. So I went ahead and tried it. I got them out of a mystery box and I sold them for $25. The buyer was all in for $33.52. The next item that sold is this vintage handmade clowns costume. I want to say I paid $3 for this at a garage sale, but do not quote me on that. Um, it sold for $18.74 plus shipping. I bought two of them that day. The other one sold super quick. Okay, maybe not super quick, but much quicker than this one. This one hung around for a while. Um, it could have been the size. It could have been the style. Who knows? The next item is this Fisher Price Octonauts uh, Shark Submarine Vehicle and Figure. If you want to know more about Octonauts, I did a video over on my reseller testing products channel. There is a link down in the description, but I parted out an Octonaut set and I show you how I made big money parting it out. So definitely go check that out on my reseller testing products YouTube channel. The next item are these Fisher Price Little People Alphabet Animals and the condition was not great. If it would have been better, I would have listed them in maybe a smaller lot or individually as replacements. But again, they were just kind of scuffed up and marked up. So I ended up selling all of these for $13.50. The buyer was all in for $19.90 and I paid a dollar for all of them. The next item I sold is this Chico Gazubo Color Shape and Sort Key House. And I do have a video where I show how that works. And that is over also on my reseller testing products. I got everything listed and I realized that the white key was broken. So I think I realized it in the video. So go check that out. It's kind of funny. Um, sold this for a $28.50 and I think I paid $5 for it. Um, I do have a video where I actually sourced this from a garage sale. So it is, um, it's either on this channel or my other channel. So sourcing with Bola Buddies or this main channel. So that concludes, doesn't seem like there were 40. We went through those really fast, or I should say I went through those really fast. And if you're still here, you hung out for quite a while, 22 minutes so far. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Bolo item was out of this video. Maybe something that surprised you or you didn't know about. Um, comment below. Let me know what it was. And thanks for being here and thanks for watching.